Greetings from Southern Yankee Homestead. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Well, today we're going to be diving back into the Dahatsu because, well, I want to be able to use the radio and charge stuff while I'm in there. We got our speakers in. You say hi? Hi. My little helper's out here today. So, because we put a JVC radio in, we went ahead and ordered cute little uh, four inch JVC speakers. Hopefully these fit. If I was wrong, we'll let you know here momentarily. Uh, I only got two speakers because, well, there's only room for two speakers in the door. One in each door. Why am I going to buy more speakers? You know? But we're also going to be getting our little blocks for charging installed as well. If everything goes right. We'll see how everything goes. So I went a little bit Amazon crazy here. I got some USB connectors. For plugging in you know charge stuff reason i'm doing that is because for the last couple of months i've been driving this around that dewalt's been my stereo because the factory stereo that you probably can't see right now right there it doesn't play local or american stations so i pulled the panel back here and looked down in and what do you know Right there is a cutout for a speaker. Granted, it's only a four inch speaker. But I don't need a speaker that big in this. Four inches will be fine. So I found these on Amazon. They came as a pair. I could have bought like four of them, but why? Even comes with mounting screws. And it already fell apart partially. Anyhow. Oh, it comes with a spare door. Yeah, my bad. So, this is a, whoop, a little USB charger for the car, or for the vehicle. Let's see, is that right? Yeah, that's right. So basically, that pops on there, somehow. We're not going to pop it on there right now. This pops on here, and then you get a USB. Give me two USBs. I'm looking at it. And I got these because it looks to be pretty close to that right there. If I mount it behind the dash, I gotta see what's behind here. See what there is to mount to. All right, so starting here at the passenger side, which on this vehicle is the left side, we're gonna go ahead and pop the panel loose. Pretty sure our speaker's gonna fit there. Let me. So here's our spot. Yep, that looks like it's gonna fit. But before we put the speaker in, we gotta punch a hole in here. Let's see, do they have a spot? Oh, they do. Good news. If you look on the back of the panel, where is it? There it is. They've already got a spot that plumbed out. That will make it easier. Let me see here. All right. Need a Phillips head and oh, there we go. Oh, that's handy.
All right. Next part's going to be fun. I'd have made a little bit more space. Let's see if this will work. Nope, that's not gonna work. Yep, thought as much. So, can't punch through with this, but Nothing like using fire on a hot day. Just trying to mark it so we know where to put the screws. Alright, it's hard to see, but... Right there, right there on that black mark, right there, and right there we have it marked. So with that marked, whoop, stream close up. With that marked, we can go ahead and pre-drill our holes. All right, well, the camera overheated, so we took a little break and I did a little bit of work on her. So I put the panel back in I didn't uh, I secured it but I didn't put any of the other stuff on there yet part of the reason why we got to get our wire over to the radio before that we found another slight thing I dropped the glove box down and found out someone had replaced this at some point with some monstrous screw this one's got a smaller one and also if you look here There's a bolt hole there, but there's no bolt. Right in there. So we're gonna have to find a bolt and get that fixed. Which shouldn't be that big a problem, but we're gonna finish what we started before we start onto another project. We're gonna go ahead and get this wire routed. We're gonna do it using a piece of wire, and we've got some 20 gauge speaker wire. I have a bunch of gold-plated connectors for the radio itself and well set of crimpers a little electrical tape some shielding some heat shrink we got all kinds of stuff we're gonna we're gonna have a grand old time so let's go ahead and start getting that in so right in here I don't know if you can see it or not there's a plug well on the other side right here just slightly lower by about an inch. I don't know if you can see that or not. Right here. There we go. There's one in the door. And I can almost see that one. So we're gonna start by fishing the wire under the dash and then we're going to come back and fish it into the door or something along that lines. I'm not entirely sure yet. So at this point, I found a way. It's not the way I wanted, but if you look right here, I get a zip tie come out. So we're gonna to try to get something a little more rigid through there. Now, 
in theory, you should be able to There we go. We got the wire through. Now, let's go. If we're lucky, yay! Just gonna unspool a bunch of this, then put our crazy zip tie back on, or our crazy wire tie back on. go ahead and drop our club box back down. Now we're making some headway. Let's put this wire back in. Oh, we got enough to reach over there, but I don't think we got enough yet to actually reach over there. Now then see wire going to the ECU right there. Let's go ahead and come up through here. Just clip it in there for now. And clip it right. Follow that line. And stick it under that one. And we'll drop it down. Yeah, we got a round bar there we can attach it to. That'll be fine. I'm going to put this back up. Uh, because now we got to go underneath. All right, after the GoPro overheated again, Surprise, it's a 90 degree day, it overheated. I went ahead and finished up everything on this side. So I got our handle back on there, our door handle, our window crank, and we got our speaker. So it's got a very good factory look to it. And we also don't have any interference and we should have radio. I also went through and up under the dash, I found a screw that fit here, so this is nice and solid now. I also routed my wire with the factory vehicle wiring. I didn't clip the zip ties, but then I found a new bolt over here so that this doesn't have that massive bolt anymore on it. And our glove box closes and is nice and secure. The driver side should be pretty much the same as the passenger side, I hope. And with the one exception, we're going to pull the dash bezel off because we're going to need to pull it off anyways to put in that USB charger.
Well, we got the speakers installed. I guess there's nothing left to do, but see if she makes some noise. Well, we don't need the AC on right now. Well, we do need it. I'm getting beeps. So, let's see if we can figure out FM, yep. From rentless drivers, it's been more affordable. But this amazing offer is Saturday and will not be extended. Only at Diamonds. Actually, while well, I'm thinking of it, let's try one more thing here. Even if your credit is cruising for a bruiser, right now we want to say yes to you, and you can save up to three thousand. All right. Guess at this point I can retire the Dewalt speaker, put that back on the shelf.